All right, Matt, second fight, Bellator 225 coming at us from Bridgeport, Connecticut on Saturday night. And listen, our second fight on the main card, you've got a catch weight at 175 pounds, which to me is a little strange because David Rickles has been a career type of guy that'll kind of kick around between 155 and 170. He's taken on Yaroslav Amosov, who realistically, I would say worldwide is one of the top welterweight prospects that's out there. I mean, he's undefeated at 21 and 0. And this guy possesses a skill set that we've seen really, really excel yeah. in high-level MMA. And not just high-level MMA, but in the welterweight division as well. Because Amosov's such a good wrestler. You look at guys like Usman and Covington in the UFC that are having a lot of success with that base. And, I mean, you're seeing it all around MMA, like I said. But in this fight, you've got a guy who's so high-level at one thing. Take on, you know, David Rickles, who's really well-rounded. And we've seen his striking really kind of not gain ground or leaps and bounds, but against guys like Guillermo Vasconcelos and AJ Matthews in his last two fights, yeah. really big wins there. So what can you kind of tell us about this matchup here? So they're kind of feeding David Rickles to the Wolves in this fight, which is unfortunate. I mean, Rickles still has a name in Bellator. He's kind of like the Vitor Belfort of Bellator, where he still has a really big name. So and he's, a, he's, he's a fight of the night type of guy every exactly. time out It's just kind of at this point in his career, he can't take the damage the way he used to be able to. I mean, David Rickles, for the longest time, he's the barbarian. He's the wild man. Like, he'd eat three shots to give one. But his body just can't really hold up to that style much longer. And Amosov, like you said, he's kind of like the poor man's Kamaru Uso where he's going to go out there, wrestle, 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 chain and, wrestle, take you down, let you get up. And, and this shit. is a guy that came over from tech crap. He's from the Ukraine. So you kind of think, well, what can we expect? But he's a guy that beat Roberto Soldich in 2016, who, of course, is KSW's welterweight champion and a huge force to be reckoned with. So Amasov realistically comes into Bellator here recently, beats Gerald Harris. He's an alternate for the welterweight Grand Prix. Fight with Lorenz Larkin doesn't happen. So he fights Eric Silva, gets a big win there. And as far as what the fans are seeing in this fight, which, I mean, you can Can't see disagree. up there. 85% going with David Rickles on topology, or sorry, 15 with Rickles, 85% with Amasov, Matt. Who are we picking? I'm picking Amasov by TKO ground and pound either round one or two. I've got Amasov in this fight as well. Really looking forward to it. Bellator 225 coming at us this Saturday. Main card predictions. Let's get into it.